All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores and what went down. The Cats were looking to steal. We are back in Golden Knights country here in Las Vegas, and what an electric atmosphere. The Golden Knights are ready to strike here on the ice tonight. Quick pass over to Barbashev. The Golden Knights work it through center. Sometimes when you get one, many follow, but for this rookie, you can feel it. He just wants to get on the board. Quick feed to Van Reemsdijk. Gaining momentum up along the side. Wax it into the offensive zone. Tarasenko's crossed the line and gained the zone. Locks the puck into the offensive zone corner. Rips it! Wide of the net, he missed! Well, you recognize that it's a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't miss by much, but it's a miss all the same. Strong defensive effort. Puck picked up by Tarasenko. Oh, how did they keep it out? What a blocker stop by Huttinger. From a tight angle, throws it on net. Leonard's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Dallas has it near the wall. Hintz plays it against the boards. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Stars are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Vegas has the puck here off the faceoff. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And he's cut that one. And he loses control here. Takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and he completely lost the shot. Hintz moves the puck. Takes the shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves it to Tarasenko. Puck picked up in the open ice. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. And that's broken up. Handles the puck. That goes wide. Here's a shot. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Stars lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Second intermission approaching quickly here. He tries to feed it over to Theodore. Vegas gains control of the puck. Here they come on the rush. The Stars will play it from the defensive zone. Dallas jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Moves it to Petrangelo. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more tomorrow. Vegas with possession in their own zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position.
And as we look down on the bench, there's our young rookie who we've talked about a lot, having quite the conversation with his head coach. Well, I think this is a reminder that he's doing a real good job dictating pace, owning the puck. If you look at the possession time and the same pressure they've had, I think it's really important for a coach to recognize them when a rookie is playing well because confidence is everything. Vegas wins possession right off the draw. Takes the puck. Moves the puck behind the net. Great save by the Tendi on the wraparound. Well, you gotta have a strong push if you want to be able to go post to both kids, and that's exactly what he does to make the save. Vegas is in danger of losing this one if they can't convert on one of these scoring opportunities, and they've had a lot of them tonight. Puck grab by Suter. Dallas has it in the defensive end. The Stars played along the boards. Here's a short pass to Tarasenko. Gains the zone through the middle. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Sagan. The Stars have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. And they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Dallas is in a dogfight. They're clinging to this 3-2 lead. Barbashev's won it in their own end. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Find some space in the corner. Oh, so good. What a stop. Oh, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Approaching the final minute. Of oh, big hit on the play, and look at this. He's on his own bench. Oh, he's not going to live this one down for a while, James. You know that he's going to get rest for a bit because he's in the laps of his teammates. I think he's okay against a slightly bruised ego. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Vegas plays it against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Tarasenko. Quick pass to Nyfisk. Gains the zone from the right. Can't hang on after that hit. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. I'm just going to say, I don't think the kid ever got an opportunity to really show what he could do in that situation. You saw how the coaching staff had really challenged him in that moment of the game. And I don't know if the way that things were going, how the coach was rolling lines, but also the disruption and the flow of the game. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and what went down tonight on the ice. The Pens were looking to steal two points against the Red Wings. Pittsburgh play. Hi, everybody. We're in Winnipeg. Go figure another Atlanta franchise had to come north of the border, but the Jets have been rocking fine again since 2011. Quick pass to Tarasenko. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Too much traffic in the lane. Vegas has possession of it now. Oh, what a save with the club by Hillebuck. The Jets have it now. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Taken by Tarasenko. And he takes the dish. And that pass goes off a stick. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And there's the save. He decides not to cover it up and sends it away. Puck 
exits the zone. Now the puck's on his stick. He's still waiting for his first. Will he get it today? Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Picked up along the boards by Petrangelo. The Jets have it against the wall. Great use of the stick at center by Theodore. Fires it! Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Eichel's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Oh, and he wants to get that one back as the stick breaks on the play. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Golden Knights have it now. Slides it diagonally to Kane. Here we go, one man rush. Denies him with the pad. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. There's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather, a recharge. The players will too, and we're coming back with period number two right after this. Puck sent over to Tarasenko. Sends the cross ice pass. Takes a shot. Just a simple save by Hellebuck. And he heads out the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Tarasenko. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Perfetti's got the puck in his own zone. Janssen's got it against the boards. He got all of that hit on the play. After that huge hit, he's really laboring to get off the ice, and you know that no player ever wants to stay down, so he's finding a way, mustering up everything he's got in him to find his way to the bench. Well, Cheryl, look at the rookie here having the conversation with the coach. You've been on the receiving end, and you've also delivered that message. What is that conversation looking like and sounding like? Well, the coach knows what the rookie can do, but wants to make sure that they're going to be defensively responsible. And the key here is you got to manage the puck. The coach will be reiterating, make smart play, in particular, good blue line decisions. You don't want to turn it over and put your team in a vulnerable spot. Barbash has won the draw there on the attack. Vegas has it behind the cage. He was locked in on that one. Yeah, James, he'd sealed the one post and then recognized that the shooter was going around the goal line and going to do the wraparound. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. Vegas seems to be scoring on every single opportunity based on the chances they've created up big here in the second. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Dumoulin. Plays the puck up ahead. Denies him with the save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Three nothing is the score. Angles it over to Broussard. Now a quick pass to Schmidt. He got all that one. Right on the doorstep. Here's a chance. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Oh, a true low man to block that. Picked up along the wall by Tarasenko. Takes it to the front. Puts it on net. And that goes off the side of the frame. Winnipeg's got him from behind the net. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. With some open space at center. Fires it into the offensive zone. And that's just out of reach. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Connor. Great hook check on the reach. Moves it to Wheeler. And cut that one out of the net. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. 
Vegas talked about wanting to put more shots on net going into this one. They have done just that and have lit the lamp plenty of times here as we approach the second intermission. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack because the third period is just around the corner. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up by Martinez. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Golden Knights played along the wing. Rips it. Oh, the gets in front of them to make a great save. The Golden Knights gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Shot from the wall. Stop all that pressure. The Golden Knights scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Tarasenko. Gets the puck in deep. He got all of that hit. Winnipeg's got the puck. Dishes it to Wheeler. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Quick pass to Haig. Turns it aside with the glove. Vegas was one of their most dominant offensive performances we have seen in quite some time, off big time in the third. Moves the puck over to Morrissey. Winnipeg's moving it into the offensive end. Vegas gains a hold of possession. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Golden Knights looking against the half wall. Good stand-up hit. Pionk's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends the pass over. And the final horn sounds for this one. Ray, I want to bring it back to that moment where the youngster really had an opportunity, made a great play, and seemed to respond. Is that kind of a direct result of the, the coach kind of pushing him on oh, that one? Oh, there's the gray area, James. The coach will say yes. The player will say no. I was getting going anyway. <laughs> Are days like this gearing up for a big game agonizingly long? Sometimes they, it's like the clock never moves. Remember when you were a kid and you were looking at the clock in school and you're like, you're good. Oh, please move along and nothing happens. It's like that a lot for a player too. And when you're a young player, you don't have a lot of experience. The nerves really build as the day goes on. He's been strong on the puck tonight, but he's still looking for his first. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Golden Knights lead it 1-0. Vegas wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that doesn't reach the net. Over the line they come. Vegas has it in their own zone. Oh, caught him with his head down. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Into the corner, he takes the pass. Right on the doorstep. Denies him! Anderson's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in, and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Vegas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And that play's neutralized. Jones has it now behind his own net. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Jones is on the attack. Shot! Leonard 
Warriors going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun time. Slides it on over to Tarasenko. Here's a shot, blocked in front. And he slides it quickly to Dumoulin. Tremendous close save by Anderson. Our broadcast crew catching up on this conversation on the bench right now between the head coach and the young rookie here, Cheryl. Well, they're coming off a great shift where they dictated pace, James. And I think it's really important that you string shifts together if you want to build momentum. And I think this is a reminder to the kid that, hey, you're part of this. Go repeat what that last line just did. Dickinson's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Blackhawks gain the zone. Fires it on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Denies him again. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive end, and the whole crowd is loving this. He got all of that one. He grabs the puck here at the point. Taken along the wall by Barbashev. The Blackhawks slide it through center. Swap up, swap up. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Slides the puck over. Uses the force on that hit. Well, we saw the hit, James. We know how hard it was, so it's not surprising to see that he is laboring, really struggling to get back to the bench. And he was ready for that one. Anderson's been doing his part in this game. He's actually the only player who is on his team. I mean, he's been under siege in his own end, facing shot after shot after shot. It's about time that his team started doing something in front of him. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, and back with a third period next. to Hall. Oh, he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Jostled off the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Hall. Slides the puck ahead to Bedard. The Golden Knights gain possession in their own end. Here we go, odd man rush here. Sends the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Oh. Vegas will play it at center. Line change, Harry. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Chicago's in transition. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Stops him cold. Vegas looks to break out in their own end. Moves behind the net. Right on the doorstep. Denies him. He got all of it. Moves it quickly over for Radish. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Unable to reach that one. Grabbed along the boards by Eichel. Denies him with the save. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Petrangelo's not going to score. Clickety click. There's the hat trick. His first of the season. Well, the puck's finding him. He's on it. He's in it. He's all around it. And he's finishing it, James. That's a great night for him. Vegas hasn't allowed for any let up in the third period. They continue to apply that pressure. They're applying the pressure and they've dominated the game right from puck drop. I mean, their opponent has no answer for any pushback because of the way they're playing. 
Ray, you're between the benches. You can kind of hear how all this plays out, but the way the coaching staff seems to be pushing the youngster, there seems to be an effectiveness to it. Well, I, I think they see that there are times, like every young player, there's ups and downs. Even in the middle of a game or the start of a game, he's not ready to... We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the Golden Knights, the bright lights. People hoping to find a winner here this evening. Lots of time left in this period. Vegas leads it 1-0. Philadelphia has won the draw. Quick feed to tip it. On the attack along the boards. play perfectly James he gets tight to the shooter there's no room to put it by him Vegas can build on this lead here with still plenty of time to go here in the first and they win the draw here in their own end into the offensive end right up the middle as a rookie all you want to do is get that first one and get on the board quick's gonna hang on for a whistle More than half the period left to play. 1-0 the score. Lawton's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Wrist to line and stick handling in his own zone. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in the lane. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Centering pass! Great defensive hits on play to pick it off. The Flyers carry it along the wall. Vegas tries to break out from their own end. Moves it to Tarasenko. And he takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by York. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. getting a piece of that one. The Golden Knights take it along the wall. And that's knocked away. Quick's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Here's a short pass to Petrangelo. Vegas moves ahead with the puck. Feeds it up ahead. Here's a chance. Scores! There it is. The go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Vegas has delivered on both ends of the ice, especially offensively, as they continue to lead late in the first. Philadelphia has won it. Lock, breakaway! Denied on a breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. And a solid stop on the play there. 18 minutes, 46. Barbashev's won it off the faceoff. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Works it across to Barbashev. And now he moves it to Tarasenko. Moves inside. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oh, and a busted twig on the play. Well, how frustrating is that, James? You get yourself to a great position, and then it snaps in half. Across the line. 
right from center. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Flyers have it in the offensive end. Oh, that saved tremendous agility there by Leonard. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Walker's got it in the defensive end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. And off the side of the net it goes. Pissick's got the puck through the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Good stand up hit on the play. And he slides it quickly to Eichel. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Philadelphia's on the attack. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Well, he's got such a great set of hands, and he displays such patience. I mean, he makes his opponent move first, and that's exactly what he wants, to manipulate them and create space for himself. He gets to the net, and the goaltender makes a huge save. Philadelphia's regained possession of the puck. And they can't connect the broken stick in the way. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. And sends it just out of reach. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Reaches out and uses the stick. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. The Golden Knights have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Moves on oh. after a nice pass from the right wing. Tippett's got it in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. That's blocked by Leonard. And he takes a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. If you're in the slot, you got to hit the net. Quick pass to Tarasenko. Good stop by Quick. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. Whiffs on that. Sends it in deep. The Golden Knights have it from their own end. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Flyers holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. Make a change, Quick pass make across a to Barbashev. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it over to D'Angelo. Fantastic save! Philadelphia's got control of the puck. The Golden Knights have it behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. Oh, spectacular save right there! Wow! to get in the shot lane and block that shot. Listen, your team's up, you want to preserve the lead, but you have to, have to make those kind of sacrifices. The Flyers gonna work on offense. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Couturier saw the attack in the offensive zone. Here's a chance! Oh, what a save! This game has everything tonight! Well, it's been unbelievable, in particular down the stretch and keeping the game close here with it on your stick. You have to find a way to execute. 
late goings of this period. Vegas still needs one more goal in order to even things up. Well, after an absolute volcanic eruption in the first offensively, it kind of settled down here, Cheryl, more to your style, I would say, right, yeah, as a defender. As, yeah, as a defender, it became more defensively structured, and I bet that the coaches had something to say about that, but certainly not as much fun for us, not as entertaining as the high-flying octane offense in the first period. Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened elsewhere on the ice. The Rangers were hoping to come up with two points. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Las Vegas. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Well, when the Golden Knights were born, they proclaimed they'd win a Stanley Cup within six years. Mission accomplished. What's next? Slides it diagonally to Tarasenko. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Blackhawks have it behind the net. Feeds the puck over to Heinen. And now he tries to get it across to Dickinson. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James. That was a huge hit behind the play. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Quick shot! Makes a save, but barely with that one. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The game is still scoreless. Here's the Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Across the line along the left wall. And the rookie is hunting down his first goal. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Takes the bank pass feed. Scooped up along the wall by Barbashev. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And that shot goes off the side of the net. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Well, Cheryl, I know there were a couple of key players you had your eye on going in for this one. Let's go pound for pound. I love it when players of similar style go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, James, or really head-to-head, -head because you can really evaluate them and see who's elevated their game at the right time, really trusting in the process, buy into the coach's plan, and making a key difference in the outcome of the game. to make something happen. The Blackhawks gain control of it. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Vegas gains a hold of possession. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Vegas looks to attack. And that's just out of reach. Felino's taking it from his own end. The Golden Knights gain possession. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Felino's going to play it against the half wall. And he scores! Chicago's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Heinen's got the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Here's a chance! And there's the save. And a stick break set up. Nice defensive robbery on that. Solid hit on the play. Chicago's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. From the open ice, they gain the line. Tries to get the puck to Dumoulin. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a shot! Chapter saved, didn't get all of it, but still enough! And that pass is redirected. Takes the 
feed from the left side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Picked up along the boards by Jubilant. Broken up in the neutral zone by Hall. Answers it with an even better save. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. The Blackhawks will play the puck from behind the net. Quick feed to Radish. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Oh, dumps right over the boards! Oh, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's in. Oh, the double G in the house! The great close save! The Golden Knights have had more opportunities tonight, but at some point they need to start finishing here late in period number two. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Angles it over to Barbashev. Takes the feed. He says, let's get physical on that play. Mrazic's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Picked up along the wall by Dumoulin. They go on the attack from the left side. Fires it! You'll need more than that to beat him. Polino's going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Dickinson's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Chicago's got the puck. Hall's lugging the puck. Chicago's got it along the wall. Slides it back to the blue line. Makes a move in front! And he can't hang on after that hit. That's moved up ahead. Takes a shot! Scores! And look who it is! The young man has done it! His first in the National Hockey League! And what I love about this moment, James, is that everyone is celebrating with them because you know how important it is and how great it feels to get your first. A special moment as he finally picks up his first career goal here in the show. His heart must be pumping. Oh, it'll be pumping. It'll be a thud in James because that's his first goal. And you know what? There are impact moments in an athlete's career, and this can be one of them, just to give you the confidence to know that you can compete, that you can contribute at this level. The Blackhawks have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Sends a pass over. Rifles moving it ahead. Here's a feed in front. Thank you very much for the call there, Jackson. And you know, when you look at some of the players out there and the young players in the league that are making people take notice, I think you have to look at him and what he has done. Hey, it's James Sabalski for EA Sports. Well, the stars are out tonight here in Los Angeles to watch the Kings and to pull my broadcaster away from autograph seeking. LA 
He's got the puck in the defensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the save! The Golden Knights are on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Theodore. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kupasalo. It's the game within the game. It's pound for pound. Cheryl, take it away. I'm going to be looking at a couple of players who have similar roles. James play a similar style, and you know it's going to be their time on ice, and whether they get elevated, how often the coach puts them out there, that'll really dictate their end-of-the-game performance. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. The Kings carry it along the wall. Moves it in front! Shot! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Moves it to Roy. Hammers it on net. Off a stick. The Golden Knights have it now. Scooped up along the wall by Stone. There's a shot. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Receives the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And he puts that one aside with ease. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Vegas leads it 1-0. The Kings have it from their own end. Quick feed to Kulikov. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Sends it in deep. Vegas gets the puck near the boards. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave of momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Vegas doubles up their lead, now making it 2-0 here in the first. Well, they really dictated the play here and controlled the offensive zone and really have their opponent chasing the game right now. They'll want to continue this into the first intermission and make sure that they come out flying in the second. He looks deep to Stone. Puts it on that. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Great read by Whitefield. Denies him. Thompson's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. And he makes the save there. From off the wall and onto a stick. And he stands tall in goal. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Hammers one. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. The Kings move the puck in the defensive zone. Taken by Dubois. Loose puck and they're off to the races. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, tremendous stop on the play. From the boards, he takes that pass. Right on the doorstep. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. The Golden Knights lead this one early in the second period. They have certainly had a lot of jump offensively tonight. Slides it diagonally to Moore. The Kings have it now. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Off a stick and they can't connect. LA's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. You gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Oh, excellent playing goal there. Sends the pass over. Fires it, and he turned that one aside. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey, putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck.
Well, here in this juncture of the game, the coach is leaning in on the rookie's ear right now and got his full attention, it looks like, Cheryl. No question this is a positive conversation, James. I mean, the rookie's been outstanding in this game, and sometimes you can get down on yourself because you're not filling the net when you're getting the chances, but the coach is just reminding him, hey, listen, stay the course, continue to apply that pressure and be aggressive. It'll open up eventually. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And that's... Hit. Not just rattled, James. It is clearly broken in the cleanup crew. They got some work to do. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Golden Knights are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Crosses the puck loose. The Golden Knights have it from the corner. Vegas looks to attack. And he says no! Oh, and it's another save on the play! Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone! LA's got the puck against the half wall. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. Oh, that's a rattler! Did you hear those boards rattle? And that's taken by the defense. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Anderson's lugging the puck. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Quick pass to Kane. Here's a pass in front. Takes a shot. Nice stop by Corpusalo. Now a quick pass to Theodore. And he scores. Has found another gear on the ice tonight. Now up by a pair here in period number two. Well, they certainly dominated in all areas, in particular in their shot selection here, James. They found ways to get pucks to net, and it's all coming off their aggressiveness and their willingness to compete for loose pucks. Theodore's moving the puck through his own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Los Angeles will play it from behind the net and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kempe. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Kulikov. Theodore's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Oh, what an insane stop by Kulikov. Again, the denial by the goaltender. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Slides it across to Kellyev. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. Puts it in deep. Vegas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. All alone! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle in this world tender. He knows exactly Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Handles the puck. Cuts to the front, and he rings the post. The Kings are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Nice zone entry from the middle. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he slides it quickly. Oh, oh. Puck away! Tonight on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Thompson's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Gets the full use. Scores! And look at the reaction on the ice. His first of the season, and his team ends up just as pumped. Well. LA's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up, and stick taps all the way around. Within one goal in the third period. You know how
how important this faceoff is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. And now it's over to Ernie. The Golden Knights gain possession in their own end. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. And lowers the boom of the big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Transit front. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. We looked at Cheryl's pound-for-pound pound matchup earlier in the game. Cheryl, do we have a winner? Kopitar's had an excellent night, James. He's going to take home the award. Why? Because he's jumping off the page. How many times have we said his name? Because he's creating all over the ice. Look at his point production. Look at the puck on his stick. He's doing it all out there. He's making a real difference. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Bergeron. He's got a step. Stars! Talk about swag on the finish with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is. And he cashes in. The Kings win the faceoff. And now he moves it to Arvidsson. And it's a quick pass to Fiala. That goes wide. Arvinson's exploring options with the puck. And he blocks that one. And now he moves it quickly to Fiala. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books.